Hi, I'm Josiah from the band 16 Cities, and we're going to be talking about our song, Greater Is He, which comes from 1 John 4. Greater is He that is in me. It says this, Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. And you know, as I was writing this song and, and reading through 1 John 4, I began to think of all the people I know who are struggling with brokenness and emptiness and injustice and turning to the things of this world to satisfy them, turning to money or relationships or status, essentially believing the message of this world that we can have hope in anything but Jesus. And we know that the same thing was happening in the early church. We know that the Apostle John was writing a letter to the early Christians warning them of false teachers who were spreading a message that distorted and rejected the truth of Jesus, his life, death, and resurrection. And who better to declare the truth about Jesus than the Apostle John? He was one of the 12 disciples who walked with Jesus, who witnessed the feeding of the 5,000, the healing of the sick and the blind, he saw Jesus taken to the cross and crucified and was a witness of the resurrection. John knew full well the power of who Jesus was and what he had done. But this would have been hard for early Christians to take hold of. You see, the early church in the first century AD were some of the most persecuted Christians in all human history. In fact, just 30 years after Jesus walked the earth, Christians were subject to the persecution of Nero, the Roman emperor who had a personal agenda to torture and kill Christians. It was even illegal to be a Christian and declaring the name of Jesus would put you and your family's lives at risk. You see, there was a cost for the early Christians in declaring Jesus as the Son of God and His resurrection. And John made it clear that that is how we overcome the world, is by standing firm in who we believe Jesus is and what He has done. I remember struggling with that very thing when I first got into high school. You know, I had been raised in the church and I knew in my head that Jesus was the Son of God and that He was raised from the dead, but declaring that at my school, that was a huge risk. I mean, it was countercultural to believe in God in a school where people were saying, hey, live for yourself, do what makes you feel good. The reality is the cost that was before me was laying down the right to be popular or the right to do what I felt like I wanted to do and instead put Jesus on the throne of my heart. And the reality is that's what this song is all about. It's about declaring who Jesus is and what he's done, declaring that he is the son of God who came for us, who died on the cross for our sins and that he was raised again and that that same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in us. You see, when we step out in faith and we take the risk and we begin to declare who Jesus is, that he is greater than this world, that's when we can make a difference. That's when Christ can truly use us. Listen to what the Bible says. It says in Ephesians 1, 20 through 21, that God raised Jesus from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. You see, when we sing these words that greater is he that is in me, we're declaring that Jesus Christ is greater than this world. It's greater than being popular or famous or rich, but instead it's about making much of the name of Jesus. So when we sing the words, the lamb is overcome and the victory is won, we're not saying that life will be easy. We're not saying that we're going to be successful or get everything we want, but instead we are declaring that Jesus Christ is the one who died, was raised again, and is now king over everything, including our own lives. This is what the Bible says, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. When we stand firm in what we believe about Jesus, we can overcome the world and declare, no matter what the cost, greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. He 